To enter an AP invoice into PSL Plus, navigate to the left-hand side of your screen and open the Accounts Payable folder. Once open, open the subfolder of AP Entry. You may then select AP Entry. Alternatively, you can select Number 1 from the Quick Access toolbar at the top of your screen. In order to add a new invoice record to our PSL system, press F4 or click on the blue plus sign at the top of your screen. This will add a new transaction reference number, as well as fill in your effective date, which is pulled from your system's clock. However, if the effective date differs from what is automatically entered, you may change it. Then you may enter the description of the invoice. Tabbing forward, you will find your batch information, which is a digital file folder which houses all of your work for today. This is typically signified by your initials followed by today's date. You then may enter the production number as well as the bank code. If you are unsure which bank to use, you may right click in this field, which will generate a pick list of available banks. Then assign your vendor ID number. Once again, if you're unsure of the vendor ID number, you may right click in this field to generate a pick list of available vendors. Once selected, you may also edit the state worked. Invoice information. You may put in the invoice number as well as the date of the invoice as well as when the invoice is due. Due date signifies the exact date in which the invoice is due. This will pull from the date above or will change based on what has been entered in due dates in the vendor entry screen. Finally, place in the amount of the invoice. Next, we have payment information. In payment information, you may select the type of payment in question, whether it be check, EFT, or wire transfer. C for check, E for EFT, W for wire transfer. We also have combine. This will combine all invoices for the vendor onto one check, if left at zero. If you'd like all invoices for this vendor to be separated, you may select one in order to separate the checks. Hold will print hold for pickup on the computer generated check. If this is a manual check, i.e. you have written this check physically and already sent the check out, you may go ahead and enter the check number that was sent out for this check in the field of number. This will signify to PSL Plus that this was a manual check sent out and we will not need to process this through computer check processing. It will only need to be posted. When tabbing to the final field of PO number, if there is a purchase order already open for the vendor that we have selected to enter the invoice for, you may be greeted with the PO number selector. It has a PO ready for me to associate with the invoice. Once I hit OK, it will bring the available lines from the PO in question into my invoice. To fetch these and place them into my invoice, select Fetch on the left side with the checkbox there. Then on the right, we will select Fetch. This will associate the lines from my purchase order to my invoice with the exact coding as well as descriptions and monetary amounts from the purchase order. If anything has changed, you may go ahead and change the information below. That's entering an invoice using PSL Plus. When you are ready, all information is correct and looks ready to go, simply navigate to the top of your screen and press Accept.